Hello out there, you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another What If video from me. And I'm going to be talking about what if Sean Matsuda was actually the secondary main character in Street Fighter 3 as opposed to Ryu taking that slot from Street Fighter 2 and other games in the series. Um, I do believe, and this is me personally, I do believe that Sean actually was supposed to fulfill that role. And there's, there's a couple reasons as to why. Um, when the first game in the Street Fighter 3 series came out, uh, Street Fighter 3 New Generation came out, the main character, who was Alex, was actually... Him and Sean actually shared a theme song. Like, they had their own variations of it, but they shared the theme song, and their stages weren't too different either. It was like, you could really say that Sean's stage was literally, like, around the corner from where, where Alex's stage was. Um... And their theme song was Jazzy NYC, whereas uh, Sean had the. I don't think I don't think his was. Alex's is called the Underground Edit, and Sean had the Street Edit. So like that that's where I'm looking at. Like, th th just listen. This is this is Alex's right here. I'm only gonna give you a few seconds. Okay, that's Alex. Now if I can get this to come up. Here we go. This is Sean. Like, my, my preferred version of this song is actually this version, the street edit. is just, I, I, I like this one more. Like, plus, the name of it is Jazzy NYC. This one fits better to the name of the theme, but Alex is, does, does it justice, too. I just think this one's better. But, I think when, when Street Fighter 3 was conceived and thought about, Sean was actually supposed to be the rival character to Alex. Now... People will probably think I'm absurd for thinking this, but like, but when you look at the fact that they both had a stage in New York, their theme songs were the same, different variations of the same song, and on top of that, like, <clears throat> it was supposed to be a completely new generation of characters. The only thing I think is that that when it came down to it, Capcom looked at it and said, "We probably won't be able to sell this game without Ryu in it." And when they put Ryu in it, it's like, "Well, we can't really have Ryu without Ken." So, so that's what that's what me to me that's what it looked like. You know, but like when you think about it, Alex is focused on going after Ryu to fight him, and Sean is focused on going after Ken. So, like when you when you look at it, it's like you you have the characters that are that are up and coming, and they're trying to take take on the old guard, which the old guard would be Ryu and Ken, and Alex takes on Ryu, and Sean takes on Ken. Like, that, that to me makes a lot of sense. Like, that to me makes a whole heck of a lot of sense. And it, it just, like, story-wise, it, it would fit if they were going to make Sean the main character or the, the other main character to the game. Now, again, people, like I said, people probably think I'm crazy for saying it. Like, but when you look at Sean's skill set as a character, when you're playing with him, his skill set is actually pretty good. Like, he can get around most enemies, and he doesn't use a... a a standardized projectile like most of the Shoto characters. Like, he has one, but his is strictly a super move, and it has a high impact. Like, but... <clears throat> but when I look at it, like, and I'm thinking about this, like, and that, the character body that Ken and Ryu and even Akuma use in Street Fighter 3, I really think that that was Sean's originally, because it looks like, and, like, and plus you look at the, the, different move, the different ways he moves while he fights. Like and everybody shares those because it's like okay, it's a standardized thing for this. But you know, Ken Ryu never really used martial arts in that way. Like and Sean had a kind of different styling to him than Ken Ryu, Akuma, and even Sakura. Like, so that's why I look at it and I think if they were going to do this, and like, and I know they turned him into a jobber character where he just he's he's the beatdown boy. He he gets. The, he gets the behind the the, the whoopings that everybody else can't, doesn't take, and they even made him 
like storyline wise they made him take more falls than Dan has and that's horrible like but when you think about like potentially this character could be really good he could be a really good fighter and then I think back to just playing the game like if you play with uh, Dudley and you beat Sean with Dudley he says something to him along the lines of you lost this fight not because of your cap- like it's something along the lines of saying it's not because you're not a cap- capable of becoming a really good fighter it's your experience in fighting that cost you this fight so to me Dudley's giving Sean props he's saying you have something there you're just not ready yet that's basically all it is so Sean is like yeah and people make the, the Dan joke Sean is like again as far as moves set Sean's far better than Dan <laughs> like, yeah, like I'm sorry played that having played both characters thoroughly Sean is far better than Dan as far as moves set goes but it's just it just would made a lot of sense to me like and how I see the story having progressed if they would not have relegated Sean to the the joke character role he would have come up and challenged Ken to a battle and not he wouldn't have won obviously he wouldn't have won because Alex didn't win against Ryu but I believe that if he I'm sorry about my phone going off right there let me quiet that um but I do, I do see Sean and having Alex and Sean potentially be rivals to each other. Like again, because they were in the same area originally, and it wasn't until Second Impact where they pushed Sean down in Brazil instead of having him in New York. But I look at that and I'm like, that would have been amazing, and like they could have actually turned Sean into a serious contender type character instead of again making him the joke character. And how I see it going. Blake and I already started this. How I see it going, Ken and Ryu... They they shouldn't have been removed from Street Fighter 3, honestly, either way. Because I don't think they were originally intended to be in the game. Like, but... Putting them in, having Alex take on Ryu... He loses his fight. But then he's... He's, like... Interested because he got beat so handily. But like, and that's the same thing with Sean. But Sean was looking to Ken, and still is looking to Ken for Ken to train him. And but like, and the fact that Sean stays in that joke role, and Ken is his his master, is a bad look on Ken. That is horrible on Ken because Ken's supposed to be training him. But um, I lost my train of thought there. Sorry. <laughs> Like, having Sean go after, after Ken and them have, like, a, a drawn-out fight. Like, not where Ken is, like, sweating or anything, but, like, but he sees the potential in Sean's capabilities. It's like, yeah, I'll train you. I'll teach you. Like, because Sean has, like, his, uh, what is it, judo? He has his judo moves as well as some of the Shoto moves, like, which makes him unique among the Shoto characters because he's not like any other official Shoto character. Like, his moveset might be similar to theirs, but it's not standard, as standardized as theirs are. He even has his own kick. It like, instead of the, the Tatsumaki that uh, Ryu, Ken, Sakura, Akuma, Goken, <laughs> all of them use, he has a different kick. And, but like, and yes, while you could say it's similar to Dan's, he, no, like, I'm sorry, there's a lot more finesse in his movements than what is in Dan's stuff. Um... So I look at it and I'm thinking, like, okay, when they did the, the um, I guess the retcon of Second Impact, what they could have done, and, like, and that's probably the game where Sean had the most priority as a character when you're playing with him, like, but they could have still given Sean, the, like, had Sean go after Ryu after fighting Ken and losing, he goes to Ryu and tries to train himself up, but instead of him being stupid and just jumping at Ryu constantly to get hit with a Hadouken every five freaking seconds. Like, he could have actually, like, taken on Ryu and, like, shown that he has the ability to learn and smarten up and, like, use some of the stuff that he learned while he was fighting Ken to fight Ryu. Like, that would have been a good ending of, like, and have been a way to build the character up and make him move forward and, pro- and progress. But, again, Capcom didn't do that. And then Third Strike, which is after Second Impact, instead of having Sean lose to some unknown dude when they go to uh, to fight in the tournament, actually have Sean win in his ending, and he goes on to fight Ken 
in Ken's ending and loses to Ken again. Like, again, building the character up, but, like, make it seem like the fight was more drawn out. Like, it took longer for Sean to lose because he learned. He adapted. That's something that they should should have done with the character. But, like, and that's something that they could have done with the character had they given him the protagonist spotlight instead of bumping him aside and putting Ryu there. Like, again, I'm a firm believer that that's exactly what happened. Like, they looked at it, but it's like, we got this interesting character in Alex. He can be the main. He can be the face of Street Fighter Three, like, but we need a rival character for him. And I think that's when Sean was conceived, like, because they didn't want to use another show. They want at first they didn't want to reuse the same Shoto characters. They wanted to use somebody different. And Sean was a new face. He was a new character, somebody who nobody knew of before Street Fighter Three, like, and then. Like, and he wanted to be like Ken Masters. He wanted to train and be like Ken. Like, because, like, when you look at the two personalities of the characters, their personalities aren't that different anyway, so it makes sense that Sean would be more drawn to Ken as a potential trainer than Ryu. Plus, it's easier to get more information and get more hold of Ken than it is Ryu, because Ryu's basically a nomad. It's harder to find him, like, unless you know where to look. So... My thought on that is that with everything that I said, they could have made Sean a more serious character and, and then he could have actually ended up in other other games like Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5 without him being a side character that just jobs out to everybody or getting pushed aside because his sister's now in the game and in the spotlight. Like to me, like it just it was just a waste of a character. It's a wasted potential of a character. Where they've shown that this character has potential to be way better than what what they made him storyline wise, like. But I know Capcom's not going to use him. That's the that's the problem. I know they're not going to use the character, and unfortunately for for Capcom, they're not they're not as flexible with their fighting game characters. Let's say someone is like SNK, because excuse me, SNK has on several occasions moved Kyo out of the spotlight for the King of Fighters. Like yeah, he's he's still been there, but he wasn't the main attraction. Like for a while, they had K be the main attraction, and then they had Ash Crimson be the main attraction for a little while. But like, and those those characters are still great, and they fit the roles that they were put in very well. And that's something that I think that Capcom really needs to learn to be more lenient on, instead of focusing so heavily on the same characters once they once they establish them. But like yeah, keep them there. Don't don't throw them out. Like show them making their improvements, but put in a new main character. Like that that's that's where I, I feel like Street Fighter fails. I'm like, and this is where I think having a character like Sean in and having like him and Alex like rival each other and bounce off each other would have been honestly would have been great because they were both going after who are potentially the current masters of the Natsuken fighting style so again to me it makes sense but that's that's really all I can say so if Sean was a main character or, or was the uh, the secondary protagonist of the Street Fighter 3 series I think like he would have ma- he would if Capcom would have done him right they, and they would have done him justice it would have made a lot of sense and he would have been a good fit for it but that's it I don't really have anything else to say but like I kind of just Explained why I think he would have been a good fit for this this role, and um, hopefully, my next video, the next what if that I do, you guys will like that one too. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me. And until the next time, please enjoy your games. Peace out. <laughs>